It's time for France to take a comeback on World of Tanks console this week with the latest update and of course we're going to be checking out the update news for this week and yeah let me know what you think in the comment section down below both of what happened last week with the Authorus KV4K TTS and the multi turret system uh, along with some of the other events that came out on top of that. And of course we're going to get into everything uh, for this week now. So starting off, what is the key features of this new update coming this week on Tuesday? Well it is the fact that you will be able to get a whole host of French style updates this week where you will be getting certain events that are coming out, some really really great time to pick up certain extra uh, kind of items within the game and also a refresh on the premium bonus event that will be able to get you an extra 50% more silver and XP uh, when playing but we'll cover that in a second so first things first let's take a look at what happened last week uh, the key things that came out last week of course were the new uh, authorist kv4 we had the kind of events that came along with that and the leopard one medium line tank buff which made them slightly better uh, and of course made the stock grind of a lot of the leopard one lead up tanks much better the indian panzer um, the vk um, and obviously the leopard pta as well so they're all really much well they've improved quite a bit win rate went up by one percent on average which is actually not that bad considering like they don't want to over buff them yeah it's a decent little addition to world of tanks console and essentially all they did was remove a lot of the kind of bad stock guns that were in it and that was what was hindering the win rate so yeah looking forward to seeing how the leopard one uh, fares in the long term and of course we had the Ops Challenges and Event where you could pick up Star Festival Challenge. We also have right now as of the recording of this video and for this weekend up until Tuesday we've got the American Tech Tree Sale which is an amazing time to go out and buy the American Tech Tree Tanks. Revisit some of the ones that you've already played uh, and of course between tiers I think 3 and tier 6 they're 50% off silver wise um, and also between tiers um, 6 and well tier 7 and tiers 10 they're 30% off and I've actually managed to pick up the entire American tech tree on my account um, albeit a couple of ones that I haven't actually managed to get in the pattern line and a couple of, like the tier threes and fours I haven't bothered to pick up but yeah all of the tier six five four I've pretty much picked up um, and yeah really really great time to go out and buy them if you want to of course you right now one key thing that I do want to mention about the update that's currently going on is that you can take advantage of the applying equipment and consumables or, or equipment mainly at 50% off and that means that when you put equipment on your tank right now so long as you hold it until the point at which the operation goes off which is on Tuesday next week then you will be able to basically put equipment on your tank and sell it for the same price which means you don't lose any money and so between now and then it's an amazing time to kit up all of your tanks and actually I've gone through and added equipment on pretty much every single tank that I've got because worst case scenario is I need a bit of silver and I can just sell the equipment that I already had on my tanks because I added them at half price and I haven't lost any money whatsoever so really really great time to actually purchase them but remember if you purchase them and sell them within the period of time at which you kind of uh, the, which this operation is on you actually only get half of the price of half of the price if that makes sense you're only getting a quarter of the value of the equipment as opposed to the full value of the equipment when the update ends or the event ends now then that's not it we have ops challenges and events so we've talked about that we then had the sales where you could get tanks for free xp where you can pick up the mbt 70 the m50 ontos the t55a etc that was all kind of covered within last week's update news and you can always go back check that out if you're wanting to get and take advantage of it this week before it all goes away on Tuesday one thing that I want to note um, is that there were a couple of issues that were kind of coming up and that was like the filter freeze so you know when you're actually trying to add on filters and stuff um, 
there was basically some like lagging and it meant that like you couldn't actually move around and stuff like that so yeah that was kind of fixed or at least that's what wargaming is saying is fixed and then of course we have this week's update news which comes in the form of the french kind of tech tree we've also got the on track event for france much like the american on track event that we've currently got in the game where you can get extra 25 percent xp towards all american tanks and the sale for the tanks, you can do the same for France. So this is going to be a period in time where I am going to be spending a ton of silver. I think I spent something like 20 million silver buying all of the American tanks and putting them into my garage. So I'll probably be doing the same with the French tech tree line since there's never a better time to actually purchase the tanks in the tech tree than when they do these on-track whole events for the tech tree. And effectively, you can get 50% between tiers 3 to tier 6 and 30% between tiers 7 and tiers 10 and you can purchase any of the tanks within that you get the 25% extra XP towards any French tier 10 tank that you're playing um, and I think you may be I don't know if they're going to work it into actually playing on Cold War any French tank I don't think so um, but yeah take advantage of it on World War 2 and then in addition, you've also got the 30% off French premium tech tree tanks, which is also good. And as with the thumbnail, the Shaft U2 of 4 will be coming back into the game to be sold as with the Bastille Day event. So you can pick up the Shaft U2 of 4, the auto-loading tier 9 premium that isn't really a premium, but it's like a reward tank, you know, on PC, it's basically free and you can pick it up as part of like the um, reward system that they've got for completing battle passes. Unfortunately, on console, you just have to flat out buy it if you want the Shaft U2 of 4, unfortunately. Now then, discounts on French tank bundles, so you've got quite a lot of French tank bundles coming into the game, uh, and we could always have a look at that when the update drops itself, and we can cover any extra news, kind of any extra things Wargaming are dumping in here, um, but essentially you're going to be getting a load of French themed bundles, which you can pick up for usually like 50 to 60% off, so that's always pretty good to be honest, um, and then we have the new contract, which is the Jammer, I think that this is like the light tank slash medium looking tank i uh, don't think it's particularly very good in world of tanks console so i wouldn't worry all too much and then the light tank mastery challenge is also coming in as well where you can effectively pick up like a million silver you can pick up a top secret key card you can pick up loads of different extra stuff along with it so it's always good uh, kind of extra addition to when you're just playing and of course if you like playing light tanks then now is not a best there's no better time in this upcoming week we also then get the premium bonus where you can get an extra 50 percent silver and xp when playing tier 5 plus vehicles on the gorilla line the Chieftain Mark VI line and the Renosha Ronte, which means that if you are grinding towards these, I am going to be showcasing one of the best ways in which you can take advantage of this because I am earning when playing the Object 263 line, which is part of the premium bonus currently uh, when I'm playing the SU12254. I'm managing to get about 15,000 XP per game. I'm utilizing the premium bonus and I'm also utilizing a five times XP boost. And I'm just basically just trying to get average games and you're getting 15,000 XP per game, which is unbelievable. And it means that going from like a tier nine to a tier 10 instead of taking like 300 games is taking probably 50 because of all of the bonuses that you can actually stack up on top of each other and use um, to your advantage so I'm going to do a whole video covering like the fastest way to get a tier 10 and to actually uh, grind your way through tech trees and like how to take advantage of certain events in World of Tanks console that hopefully you guys will be uh, interested in. And then we also have the tank trading event, which I am not going to promote. I think it is a waste of time. I think it is a waste of your kind of premium tanks that you already have. The kind of consensus is that what you do is you trade in a tank that you already have for a tank that you don't have and Wargaming give you half of the value of the tank that you trade in towards a full price tank that is on their kind of trade up list. So you can effectively pay like half price for a tank by trading in 
one that you already own. But remember, like the amount of times that all of these tanks come on sale at 50% off just flat rates, it means that you're not really saving any money. And in fact, you're not saving any money and you're putting in a premium tank for Wargaming to take away from your account and you will never be able to play that premium unless you buy it again. So yeah, I think it's a very bad i think it's something that is only useful if you have completely decided you will never ever play any tank and you really want one of the trade up tanks um that you actually want from the the kind of list of tanks that you can actually p purchase so yeah don't get caught out by the trade up event i i absolutely despise it and yeah i'm hoping that that won't be um part of the game for much longer i think it's pointless um but nonetheless we've also then got the weekly shout outs a load of people getting really silly crazy high xp results i was actually fairly close to coming top in the orpheus kv4 ktts having got like 2200 and something xp um but i was beaten by i gambit i with 2343 xp in one singular battle that's base xp as well and of course patrick manning to managing to play a hundred thousand battles which really does deserve a medal to be honest with you um playing this game for that long now then questions we've got a couple so that you guys can understand what's coming and that is um the first one being the any plan to bring back the sharfu tour back on sale so as we talked about yes it's part of the french tank sale on tuesday is the kill counter still work in the works yes but no eta so that what that kind of regards to is effectively when we previously had before update 6.0 and all of the changes that came along with it we had a in the top right hand corner you could actually see how many people you've taken out within one singular battle unfortunately wargaming removed it for pretty much no reason um, and we no longer have that we've then also got can we get customization options for commander yes it's possible and we have designs but resources are tight and when it comes to 3d commanders however we are looking to increase that capacity um, there was an idea to create options for prosthetic legs on commanders as we have a lot of veterans that play our game so yeah i, I mean I guess it's kind of good, but don't focus all too much on the customization options for commanders. Um, I'd rather see that on the actual tanks themselves because I feel like you're more likely to actually see those, and so it would be better at use of your time. Um, will the standard KV4 KTS TTS get the autoloader option? No plans to do this. Oh, I wouldn't like be like Wargaming to release a better version of a tank that's already in the game, that's a premium tank that people have bought, and then not actually include the autoloading option option to the tank that's currently in the game and so if you actually want the good version of the tank you that you've already bought with your real money then you have to spend even more of your real money to get the new version yeah typical wargaming typical lazy design as well because they've effectively just re-released a premium tank and made it better and more op so yeah if you're interested in actually checking that tank out and of course the 6000 plus damage that we managed to do then make sure to have a look in the end of the video I'll leave a link to it um, and then how is artillery 2.0 going and when can we expect a live test there's some good data and we're looking at the end of July or the beginning of August for USA RE changes which is the live test where the T92 alpha damage is going down so yeah interested to see how that happens and then what are the next maps to return after Hellfire Pass, it is Corellia and Swamp. So these are two, uh, well, the first one being a brilliant map, and then Swamp is kind of like a console exclusive, I think it is. Um, it's effectively like a one little castle spire in the middle of the map that um, then has a valley surrounding it. Um, you've got two hills, you've then got an area where heavies usually go, and then a medium area um, up on the other side, and then light tanks pretty much put a spot through uh, the middle by poking the ridges in the central area where you've got the valley. But yeah, interesting, and I'm looking forward to both of those maps coming back, Corellia mostly, and of course Swamp is a nice one as well. Can we make platoon with random players? We just had a meeting about auto platoons and the ability to carry on playing with them if you like. This is actually a really good idea. I actually really like this i feel like you can jump in with random players 
It will be fun to see whether your platoon is actually any good. It'd be fun to actually join up. You might actually enjoy playing with them and, you know, you can meet people uh, and do a bit more of a community aspect about the game. And I think that this is a great thing to do. Um, can we get an option to use not use equipment vouchers? It will be useful when equipment's on sale. There's a ticket on that, but more info next week. Can we get a buff on the MBT-70 pen? It's already on the list. It just needs to get reviewed. Could you increase ammo on the Stingray? one and two yes there's a ticket for that how about a light tank shell that keeps enemies lit for 20 second i think that could actually be pretty interesting and it could be a unique characteristic for certain nations and also be a counter for smoke that would actually be pretty decent um any possibility to return the amx 50b back to a heavy to do that we would have to nerf them and historically they were mediums the current class also matches the play style so like there's not really any kind of thing that, that they're going to do with that i think the 50b is pretty much like a medium heavy you know it's just a classification it doesn't mean anything the tank is still the same um and then extra news july 26th regular cold war tech tree tanks get an xp and silver bonus earn like the world war ii tanks have been getting so remember when you have the 50 percent more xp and 50 percent more silver when it's applied to cold war you're going to be earning a ton of silver every single game and so it might be really worth it you actually jumping on and playing some games in cold war if you're interested and the kpz uh, kpz 52 will be available to purchase in august a warning that you have no commander might be included in the next season so finally after like literally like 15 months of in the game they're finally bringing this in and then the skins that were shown in past live streams like the E4 Chieftain Challenger will start arriving in future seasons. So looking forward to everything that's coming this week and keeping you up to date with the latest update news. Of course, if you have any questions, if you have any queries and if you want to find out any more information, then ask away in the comment section. And I'm sure many of you will actually jump down there to help out some people as well as me trying my best to answer some of the questions. And if you have a specific question for me, then yeah, definitely drop it down there as the most likely option as to i will reply to you and thank you very much for watching i hope you have a fantastic weekend and i hope you have a fantastic rest of the week and i'll see you there goodbye